game on Children's ITV, Wednesdays at 20 past four. Find us keepers. Don't let the grown-ups see. Speaking of grown-ups, we had a house full of non-grown-ups over the weekend. There were lots of toys and things to do. But everybody spent the entire weekend getting me to do this. It's a whoopee cushion. So I thought you might find it as funny as they did. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Always works. Hey, Bob, you'll like today's tea bag. It's all about prehistoric times. Where's your father? Daddy, haven't you heard? Daddy's taking tea with the angels. You what? He's pushing up the daisies. What are you on about? Daddy has expired, passed on, given up the ghosts. You mean? Yes. He's going to live in Milton Keynes? No, you silly man. He fell under a mammoth. Daddy is an ex-daddy. Oh, dead now. It's true, I'm afraid. I wrote a poem about him. Would you like to hear it? Nah. As father sat upon a boulder, a mammoth tapped him on the shoulder. Its foot came down with a splat. Poor old dad was trampled flat. Ascended now to a lofty height, the kids all use him as a kite. <sighs> Get you there, don't it? So who in the blazes is running the Troy bin? Three guesses. Oh, no. Uh, no. Nah. Uh, so it can't be true. Isn't it wonderful? The stone of office. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in charge, I can make all the changes I like around here. Changes? Yes. Hey! Don't call me Ig for a start. From now on, it's Ignatius. Ig what? Ignatius. Ignatius. It's a far more civilised name, don't you think? We're cavemen, you idiot! We're not meant to be civilised! Well, all that's going to change us from today. And look at the state you're in. You look like you've been in the wars. Oh, I have. Cracked a few skulls a day, I can tell you. Having old monkey brains in his gang of apes. <laughs> Give me that horrid thing. Oi! I'm confiscating this. You can have it back at Christmas. It'll be a Christmas club. <laughs> Do you see? I've just cracked the world's first joke. They'll never catch on. Now, I want you to take these flowers to Monkey Brains. Say, you're very sorry, but there'll be no more silly punch-ups ever again. You can't be serious. Oh, but I am. You'll make our tribe the laughing stock of the old valley. My dear thug, in years to come, some bright spark will invent the electric toothbrush and everyone will sneer at him too. But he, like me, will have the last laugh and the cleanest teeth. You're a raving lunatic! That's what you are! I'm also leader of the tribe and you'll do what I say. Go on. Do it. Do it! <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, am I? Ha, now who's the idiot? Ooh, you stupid boy. Not such a stupid boy now, eh, bin bag? Watch! I was just practicing before I have a crack at the real thing. No, oh, you're not even funny, shutty. Just pathetic. Make me a cup of tea, and I don't mean tomorrow. 
to have it then. Great. I was going to have him fishing by the pond, but I mean... It's not that. that. Oh, that. Oh, no, you can't have that. This is to show I'm in charge of the tribe. If I didn't have this, people wouldn't respect me the way they do. <laughs> you mimsy! Miserable! Little moth for you! Ah, oh, Thug, welcome back. So, did you and Monkey Brains bury the hatchet? Well, he did. In the back of my head, mainly. That is, after he stuck those flowers up, he knows. Perhaps he couldn't find a vase. Now, listen here, Ig. But don't call me Ig. No, not Ig. Ignoramus. You're not fit to run our tribe. I'm taking over! Jolly well, aren't. Because I've got the dingly dangly. Na, 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 na. What do I see? Something small and precious. Yeah. And he's holding the next sunstone. Oh, of course it's a sunstone, you knucklehead. It looks a bit of a pushover, eh? And Bags, I'm the one who pushes him over. Oh, no, let me. I'll down him with a swift left hook. He'll be tasting glove for a fortnight. No! Why should you have all the fun? <whistles> a number five iron, I think, should do the trick. You knucklehead, stay here. Not so chirpy now! Hey, Mr. Na 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 Na. Let him go, you big drunk. Yeah. Give me that stone of this. No, never. Give me that stone. Oh! Look at that. That's all chaff now. Ooh, if I wasn't so against violence, I'd give you such a slap on the back of your leg. Ow! Now the tribe's got a proper leader. <laughs> Give it back, you big lunk. You want it back? You have to fight me for it. Like a man. I will never fight. Fighting is for barbarians. Don't you call me a barbarian. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Are you all right? No, 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 no I'm not. Look at the state of my hair. I'll be right back. Right, Buster! Where's that? The stone of office. That thug thug took it. Thug thug what? The fingers of thug thug! No, not thug thug. Thug. Big lug with an ugly mug. Now tell me where that stone is, or I'll show you what it's like to have a hole in one. And a big lump ripped out the other! You can't just go around taking what you like. Spear? It's called stealing, and it's not nice. Net. Decent people don't go around pinching things. Bait, bait. Where can I get some bait for my saber-toothed tiger trap? Look, take me, for instance. Good idea. <laughs> Let me go, you monster! Help! A bite? Great. Yes, I thought that would bring a ray of sunshine into that overcast little face. At last, a crack at the real McCoy. So, who's the unlucky guy then? His name is Th 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 Theodore. Theodore? <laughs> Sounds like a right wimp. <laughs> he is. God slam. And then victory for you and victory for me. Because when you win, I get the sunstone. <laughs> 
when I win. Well, it's nice to know you've got a bit of faith in me for once. I've got no faith in you whatsoever. But there's one thing that never lets me down. Cheating. Oh! I'm a vegetarian. I object to people eating meat. Especially when I'm the meat. Tough. Exactly. Very tough. All bristly. What saber tooth tiger's gonna want to eat me? A ravenously angry one. No! Only <laughs> one again. What in the blazing volcano's that? I'm looking for a thunk. Well, you found one, so what? <laughs> what? You, a mighty thug whose very name strikes terror into the hearts of mortal men. I've had me moments. Ah, oh, I've seen more muscles in a seafood salad. I am bad, mighty messenger from a tribe of cave-dwelling warriors. Troglodytes. Now, honestly, it's true. Look, woman, what do you want? I've got a belly needs feeding. I have come to throw down a challenge. Here it is! Oh! Challenge? What kind of a challenge? Now read it. What does read mean? Oh, give it to me. Look, the head of my tribe wishes to challenge the head of your tribe, i.e. you. I.e. me. To a bout of fisticuffs, i.e. a punch-up. I eat a puncher. A fight to the finish. I eat to get that. I eat, I eat. What are all these I eats? <sighs> I eat. A little taste oh. of what's to come if you accept the challenge. If, if, Fug will make mince mammoth meat of anybody who cares to cop the snoot at him. I eat. Me. That's the kind of fighting talk I like to hear. Come on, let's pull up a little boulder and get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, well. Okay. Let the battle commence when the woolly rhinoceros comes down from the high plateau and drinks at the Salter Springs. Three o'clock it is. Good. You're a brave man, Thug. I admire your guts, and so will everyone when they see them spread all over the ground. Now, you sure you want to go through with this? Sure, I'm sure. All right, all right. It's your funeral, sunshine. Three o'clock. Woolly Rhino time. You're on. It's a sad day when brute force wins out over common decency. Don't you think? I mean, if this is the way mankind's headed, there's no hope for us. There's always hope. Come on, get up. Sometimes you've got to fight for what's right. But fight? Are you bonkers? I'm a peace-loving pacifist. I refuse to raise my fists in anger. On certain occasions, you just have to. And this is a certain occasion... No, I refuse point blank. Right, I see. So nothing will make you fight? Nothing. So you don't mind if I just smash your friend into a thousand <gasps> pieces? You put him down or up! So there is something you'll fight for. So, tell me more about this Theodore bloke I'm about to creep. Oh, he's a pussycat, soft as marshmallow, like old Samalina. If he lasts half a round, oh, it'll be a miracle. Yeah, well, I'm in pretty good shape. Sylvester shirt, that's me. Arnold shirts, nigger. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just giving the gloves a polish. Right, right, come on. It's fight time. Uh, let me at him. Let me no, at him. No, steady, boy, steady, boy. Save yourself, save yourself. I'll mash him. I'll marmalise him. I'll murder him. Well, 
you calm down. You'll get your chance soon enough. Where's that thug? Thug? Ah, oh, I mean Theodore is late, that big. <gasps> no, no, small lunk. Theodore! Oh, look, you look over there, and I'll look up here. Theodore! Thug! Thug! Good. We're here first. Now you know what you've got to do. I suppose so. If I must, I must. A man's got to do what a man's got to do, and so must I. Where is the big dope? You wait here. I'll find him. Flip. What have I got myself in for? <laughs> Piece of pastry. So, you're the fighter then. Pardon? Oh, oh yes, that's me. Well, I hope you booked yourself a hospital bed, cos you're gonna need it, chum. Oh, nice shorts, silk. Mm. Cut the small talk, buster, mm. and let's get scrapping. Oh, I don't want to fight you. Chicken, eh? Bark, 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 bark. Theodore's a chicken, gonna take a licking. I am not Theodore. I'm Ignatius. Oh, of course you are. What? But if I'm not fighting you, then who am I fighting? Him! Let me at the little run! Oh, back boy! Back boy! Hill boy! Hill boy! Sit! Sit! That's Theodore? Don't call me a Theodore! I'll rip your head off and use it as a basketball! With a volcano as a basket! Wow! Oh, it's all mouth and trousers! Wow! Oh, you're slaying! You're slaying! Quick, quick! Get those gloves on! You must be joking! I'm allergic to death. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh. Oh. That's a T-shirt. You got him where he wants you. That's a good boy. Good boy. Oh, we will soon get tired of hearing your bones crack. And then you can wriggle free and get those gloves on. Right, you little cockroach. Get ready to be crushed. Oh, oh, come back here, you yellow bloody vulture! Stay back! Oh. That could have been me. Yeah. Get me home, you idiot! <sighs> You're a bully and a beast, and I'm going to teach you a lesson. What in? Need a work? <laughs> I challenge you to a fight. Put him up. Oh, <laughs> Put this on. Uh, yeah. this one. Hey, oh, shit. <laughs> Ignatius, get in there and fight for what's right. Oh, right. Go on in. Hit me. Hit me right there. <laughs> the winner. <laughs> So you really mean it? I can have the sandstone. Yes. As leader of the tribe, I hereby announce a new law. From now on, this tribe no longer has a leader. We are all equal. All except one, that is. <laughs>
And in next week's episode... Come back here And you'll be pleased to know that Teabag is now available on video from your local stockist. So it looks like they're going to France next time. I hope they weren't watching the rugby on Saturday because it looks as though we're still at war with some French people, so they better be careful. Talking about arguing, there's a fantastic new series starts tomorrow on Children's ITV at 20 to 5. It's called Just So. It's about a family of three girls and a family of three boys who come to live with them and they immediately all fall...